The Book of Hebrews Hebrews chapter 1 God, who spoke in many parts and in many ways in time past to the fathers by the prophets, has spoken to us in these last days by his Son, whom he appointed heir of all things, and through whom also he made the ages, who being the brightness of his glory, and the exact image of his substance, and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself cleansed our sins, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high. Having become so much better than the angels, as he has by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than them. For to which of the angels did he say at any time, You are my son, today I have begotten you. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he brings the firstborn into the world, he says, And let all the angels of God worship him. And concerning the angels, he says, Who makes his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. But to the son, he says, Your throne, O God, is for the age of the ages. A scepter of righteousness is the scepter of your kingdom. You loved righteousness and hated lawlessness. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your companions. And you, Lord, established the earth in the beginning, and the heavens are the work of your hands. They shall perish, but you remain. They shall all grow old as does a garment, and as a covering you shall fold them up, and they shall be changed. But you are the same, and your years shall not fail. But to which of the angels did he say at any time, Sit at my right hand until I make your enemies your footstool? Are they not all ministering spirits? Send forth to minister for those who shall be heirs of salvation? Hebrews chapter 2 Therefore, it is necessary for us to give the more earnest heed to the things which we have heard, lest at any time we should drift away. For if the word which was spoken through angels was firm, and every transgression and disobedience received a just repayment, how shall we escape if we neglect such a great salvation? which was confirmed to us by those who heard him, having received it in the beginning, being spoken by the Lord. God also bearing witness with both signs and wonders and with various works of power, and the Holy Spirit distributing them according to his own will. For he did not subject the habitable world to come, of which we speak to angels. But someone somewhere testified, saying, what is man that you remember him, or the son of man that you watch over him? You made him a little lower than the angels. You crowned him with glory and honor, and set him over the work of your hands. You have put all things in subjection under his feet. For in order to make all things subject to him, he left nothing that is not subject to him. But now we do not yet see all things made subject to him. But we see Jesus, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death, crowned with glory and honor, that he by the grace of God should taste death for everyone. For it was fitting for him, for whom are all things, and by whom are all things, in bringing many sons to glory, to perfect the leader of their salvation through sufferings. For both he who sanctifies and those who are being sanctified are all of one spirit, for which cause he is not ashamed to call them brothers, saying, I will declare your name to my brothers. In the midst of the church, I will sing praise to you. And again, I will trust in him. And again, see, I am the children whom God has given to me. Therefore, 
since the children took part of flesh and blood, he also himself likewise took part of the same things, that through death he might annul him who had the power of death, that is, the devil, and set free those who by fear of death were all their lifetime subject to bondage. For surely he did not take on the form of angels, but he took on the seed of Abraham. Therefore, in all things he was obliged to be made like his brothers, that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest in the things belonging to God, in order to make an appeasement for the sins of the people. For in what he suffered when he was tempted, he is able to help those who are being tempted. Hebrews chapter 3 Therefore, holy brothers, partakers of the heavenly calling, consider the apostle and high priest of our confession, Christ Jesus, who was faithful to him who appointed him, as also Moses was in all his house. For this man was counted worthy of more glory than Moses, inasmuch as he who built the house has more honor than the house. For every house is built by some man, but he who built all things is God. And Moses indeed was faithful in all his house, as a servant for a witness to those things which would be spoken after. But Christ as a son over his own house, whose house are we, if we hold the confidence and the boast of the hope firm to the end. Therefore, as the Holy Spirit says, today if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, in the day of trial in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me, proved me, and saw my works forty years. Therefore, I was grieved with that generation, and said, They do always go astray in their heart, and they have not known my ways. So I swore in my anger, They shall not enter into my rest. Watch, brothers lest there is in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But encourage one another daily while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceit of sin. For we become partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence firm to the end. While it is said, Today, if you will hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as in the rebellion, for some who heard did rebel, but not all who came out of Egypt by Moses. But with whom was he vexed forty years, if not with those who sinned, whose corpses fell in the wilderness? And to whom did he swear they would not enter into his rest, if not to those who did not obey? And we see, that they were not able to enter in because of unbelief. Hebrews chapter 4 Let us fear then, lest the promise being left us of entering into his rest, any of you should seem to come short of it. For we also had the gospel preached to us, even as it was to them. But the word did not profit those who heard, not being mixed with faith in those who heard it. For we who have believed are entering into rest, even as he said, I have sworn in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest, although the works have existed from the foundation of the world. For he has said somewhere concerning the seventh day like this, and God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And in this place again, they shall not enter into my rest. Therefore, it remains for some to enter into it, and those who heard it preached before did not enter in because of disobedience. Again, he determines a certain day, today, saying by David, after so long a time as he said it, today if you should hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, then he would not have spoken after that of another day. 
Therefore, there remains a Sabbath rest for the people of God. For he who has entered into his rest, he has also rested from his works, even as God did from his. Therefore, be diligent to enter into that rest, that no one may fall by the same example of disobedience. For the word of God is living and effective and sharper than any two-edged sword, and piercing even to the dividing of both soul and spirit, of both joints and marrow, and is able to discern thoughts and intentions of a heart. Nor is there any creature hidden in his sight, but all things are naked and exposed to the eyes of him with whom our account is. Therefore, having a great high priest who passed through the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, we should hold firm our confession, for we do not have a high priest who is not able to sympathize with our weaknesses, but was tempted in all things in the same way as us, without sin. Therefore, we can come boldly to the throne of grace, that we may receive mercy and find grace to help in a time of need. Hebrews chapter 5 For every high priest taken from among men is ordained for men in the things belonging to God, that he may offer both gifts and sacrifices for sins, who can have compassion on those who are ignorant and deceived, since he himself is also encompassed with weakness. And because of this, he ought, even as for the people, so also for himself to offer for sins. And no man takes this honor to himself, but he who is called by God, as also Aaron was. So also Christ did not glorify himself to become a high priest, but he who said to him, You are my son, today I have begotten you. Even as he says also in another place, you are a priest for the age according to the order of Melchizedek, who in the days of his flesh, when he had offered up both supplications and entreaties with strong crying and tears to him who was able to save him from death and was heard because of his godly fear. And though he was a son, he learned obedience from the things which he suffered. And when he was perfected, he became the author of eternal salvation to all those who obey him. Nominated by God to be a high priest according to the order of Melchizedek, concerning whom the word has much to say to us and hard to be understood, seeing you have become slow in hearing. For when for the time you ought to be teachers, you have need for someone to teach you again the first principles of the oracles of God. And you have become in need of milk and not of strong meat. For everyone who partakes of milk is not skilled in the word of righteousness, for he is an infant. But solid food is for those who are full grown even those who have habitually had their senses exercised to discern both good and evil. Hebrews chapter 6 Therefore, having left the word of the beginning of Christ, let us go on to perfection, not laying down again the foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith in God, of the teaching of baptisms and of the laying on of hands and of the resurrection of the dead and of long-lasting judgment. And this we will do if God permits, for it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and have become partakers of the Holy Spirit and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the age to come if they have fallen away, to renew them again to repentance, crucifying the Son of God again in themselves and putting him to an open shame. Or the earth which drinks in the rain that comes often upon it 
and brings forth herbs fit for those by whom it is dressed, receives blessing from God. But that which bears thorns and thistles is rejected and is near a curse, the end of which is to be burned. But, beloved, we were persuaded better things concerning you, and even having salvation, if even so we speak. For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which you have shown towards his name, in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister, and we desire that each one of you to show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope to the end, that you do not become lazy, but followers of those who through faith and long suffering are inheriting the promise. For when God had promised to Abraham, since he had no one greater to swear by, he swore by himself, saying, Surely blessing I will bless you, and multiplying I will multiply you. And so, after he had patiently endured, he obtained the promise. For men indeed swear by the greater, and the oath for confirmation is to them an end of all dispute, by which God, willing more abundantly to show the heirs of promise the immutability of his counsel, intervened with an oath, that by two immutable things in which it was impossible for God to lie, those who have fled to take hold on the hope set before us might have a strong encouragement, which we have as an anchor of the soul, both sure and firm, and which enters into the inside of the veil, where the forerunner has entered for us, Jesus, having become a high priest for the age according to the order of Melchizedek. Hebrews chapter 7 For well, this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, who met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, to whom also Abraham divided a tenth part of all, first being interpreted king of righteousness, but then also king of Salem, which is king of peace, without father, without mother, without genealogy, without either beginning of days or end of life, but made like the Son of God, remains a priest continually. Now consider how great this man was, to whom even the patriarch Abraham gave a tenth of the plunder. And indeed, those who are of the sons of Levi, who receive the priesthood, have a commandment to take tithes of the people, according to the law, that is, of their brothers, though they come out of the loins of Abraham. But he whose descent is not from them, received tithes from Abraham and blessed him who had the promises. And without all contradiction, the lesser is blessed by the better. And here men who die receive tithes, but there he received them, of whom it is witness that he lives. And so, in a word to say, even Levi, who received tithes, paid tithes through Abraham for he was yet in the loins of his father when Melchizedek met him. Therefore, if indeed perfection was through the Levitical priesthood, for by it the people received the law, what need was there for another priest to arise according to the order of Melchizedek, and not be called according to the order of Aaron? For the priesthood being changed, there was of necessity also a change of the law. For he of whom these things are spoken belongs to another tribe, from which no man had attended at the altar. For it is very clear that our Lord rose up out of Judah, as to which tribe Moses spoke nothing concerning priesthood. And it is yet far more evident that according to the likeness of Melchizedek there arises another priest, who has not come according to the law of a fleshly commandment, but according to the power of an endless life. For he testifies 
You are a priest for the age according to the order of Melchizedek. Well, there is indeed an annulling of the previous commandment for its weakness and lack of profit. For the law made nothing perfect, but the bringing in of a better hope did, by which we draw near to God. And inasmuch as he was not made high priest without an oath, for those became priests without an oath, but this one with an oath, by him who says to him, The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. You are a priest for the age according to the order of Melchizedek. By so much Jesus has become surety of a better covenant. And those indeed were many priests who were not allowed to continue by reason of death. But this man, because he continues for the age as a permanent priesthood, therefore he is able to save to the utmost those who draw near to God through him, always living to make intercession for them. For such a high priest was fitting for us, who is holy, innocent, undefiled, separate from sinners, and who became higher than the heavens, who does not have a daily need as those high priests to offer up sacrifices first for their own sins and then for the sins of the people. For this he did once by offering up himself. For the law appoints men high priests who have weakness, but the word of the oath which came after the law appoints the Son who was perfected for ever. Click center to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click top right to see more videos. Go also to our website and see some great Bible studies, Hebrew and Greek word studies, and lots more. And God bless.